from Minute Maid Park in Houston. MLB The Show brings you the American League Division Series. It's the Texas Rangers taking on the Houston Astros. With Chris Singleton, I'm John Shambi. It's been quite a series so far, and the excitement's only ramping up as we get ready for Game 5. Yeah, Boog, the only negative here today is that the series is going to come to an end. As fun as it's been, I wish it could go on a few more games. And the way these teams have battled each other, and with some of the amazing moments we've seen in getting to this point, I think we're in for a great one here in Game 5. Hard to imagine it won't be a classic, Siggy. I'm ready to see what surprises are waiting for us. And we'll be back with the first pitch right after this. All right, just about set to go. And towing the mound for Houston in this one, Hunter Brown. What do you look for here? Well, a real rough one last time out. Only lasted an inning, so he's pretty fresh. So expect him to be on his game in this one. Okay, all set to go. Now it's the right fielder, Travis Jankowski. Travis Jankowski. Here comes a pitch. And he bunts, but that's a foul ball. Righty delivers. Swings and misses. And it's 0 2. Swing and a miss. The high heat, too much on that one. Came after him with the fastball on 0 2, and that's a pretty good demonstration of what power pitching is all about. He's got the stuff, obviously, and right there, he used it to put his opponent away without needing to waste any pitches. Up next for the Rangers, Evan Carter. That's off the mark, and that is ball one. Brown, in his third season, 25 years old, and he was a fifth-round pick back in 2019. And it's fouled away. And that's in the dirt. One out, base is empty. And now it's even up. Two balls, two strikes. Blows the high heat past them. That's a strikeout. Thought it was a pretty good pitch. Top of the strike zone. We're seeing more fastballs in that location. Hitters, especially with two strikes, have to be ready to pull the trigger. Seeger stands in now. Fastball for a strike. 1 1. Two outs, base is empty. Swinging a foul straight back. Got him! Strikes out the side to begin the game. What a start. One, two, three, go the Rangers. And now the Astros go to work for the first time. No score. You're watching the American League Division Series on the show. Back here in Houston and towing the slab here, Trevor Rogers. What should we keep an eye on here? Try to stay back for that power changeup. Speed differential between the fastball and the changeup is huge. Hitters, they have a hard time staying back. Bottom of the go. first. The Here's the second baseman, the Corey second Jones. Baseman. Corey. The pitch. Packed house here at Minute Maid. to miss slider right there no, wow, no fair right. right there I mean that slider didn't move to the very last no, moment ball. incredibly difficult to pick that up just kind of have to tip your cap on that pin 
And a ball in two strikes. Got him swinging. Well, he just had no answer for that hard inside fastball right there. Just blew it by him. And not every pitcher likes working inside, especially with two strikes. They don't want to hit a batter and waste an opportunity to put him away. But if you can locate that fastball just like he did, most hitters aren't looking for it. And it becomes very difficult to get a piece of. So up next, Jeremy Pena. That one finds the corner. That's strike one. One down, base is empty. And a foul ball. The 0 2. The shortstop the takes a ball. Wouldn't ball. chase that time. Still two and two after the foul ball. And a pitch. Stays alive. And now the lefty. A little bit high. And now it's three and two. Really good take, especially with two strikes. Ripped on a line. Hauls it in to a way. Now we check out the Astros lineup. Chris, this is a lineup offensively that could be really good for years to come. They're deep, first and foremost, but the way that they can manipulate their personnel for matchups and everything else, it's uh, very intelligent the way that they use their team. And I, I think it creates a little bit of a... Uh, Uncertainty for opposing teams, missed, especially in a big game, big series. You're Don one Alvarez. Ball, no the next to hit takes ball one. The 1 0. -oh. That's high, that's the ball. He really committed to that fastball up at the top of the zone. He knows that if he makes a mistake in the zone, it gets hit hard by a power guy like this. That's a nice miss Beep. right there. Ah. In there at the knees. Strike one. In today's game, not that many fastball counts, but hitters still in the back of their minds, they're looking for one. 2 0 changeup call right there. Excellent pitch selection. Three to go and one. With. Way upstairs. Three and one. Kyle Tucker waits on deck. Two outs. Right two. Full count. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. The lefty fires. And he walked Best him. Ball forward. Take your base. Boog, if I were him, I'd be nibbling around the plate as well. I mean, this guy Not is just capable of hitting pitches no outside field. of the zone and driving oh. them a long way. So two down, and next will be the cleanup hitter, Kyle Tucker. That immediately pumps in a strike to the left-handed hitter. And the lefty with the 0-1. Line drive, base hit down the line. Throw stops the lead runner at second. Two on and two out. Showed a willingness to drive that pitch the opposite way. Didn't get jumpy, didn't try to pull the ball. He let it get deep, took the barrel right to it, and then extended through the swing for the line drive base hit. And now here is swing and a drive. Deep left field. Feeling for the wall as he makes the catch. Nothing into Houston first. We played an inning from Minute Maid Park. Scoreless on the show. And we're back. All set for the start of the inning. Here's the third baseman, Josh Young. 
Jacques. Singing game five at yeah. elimination spot, and the spotlight is focused on this guy. Everybody looks to the star players in big games like this, and this is what you get paid for. Time to come through. Off the oh. mark there, and it's 1-0. 1-0. And the right-hander deals. That's the ball. Boog, he never moved because he never had time to. With that kind of velocity, you'd prefer that pitcher work away. That misses. Ball three. That one misses. So a leadoff walk. That just came apart right there. Four pitch walk and guy at the play was not going to help him out by swinging at something out of the zone. Nathaniel Lowe up to hit. That one misses. That's five straight. One and oh. Rudder takes off. Swing and a miss. Throw to second. Out. Usually when you see a team try to steal a base in the early innings, it tells you they want to be aggressive on offense. Try to force the defense to make plays and slow them down. That's exactly what they did right there. So we'll see if that caught stealing changes the offensive approach moving forward. No score here in the second. Next pitch is outside. outside. Yeah, that's oh. a little high. Three one. This one blasted the other way down the line, and it's a foul ball. Swing and a pop-off in foul ground. Great catch, foul ground up against the wall. Two outs, space is empty. So next to hit for Texas, Laoti Tavares. Ball no, one low. Down. Ball. Popped up, foul territory behind the play. Drifts towards it. Squeezes it. And that is that. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. Back here at Minute Maid Park, we head to the bottom of the second, the and now the veteran baseman. third baseman, Alex. Alex Bregman. Bregman. And here it comes. And that drops in for a strike. Swing and a miss. Nice changeup. Okay. Freddie Ferguson behind the dish, calling the balls and strikes. The pitch. Keeps the at-bat going with a foul ball. The pitch. And ball one, one. Yeah, I mean, he's a guy that has a reputation for being Fergalicious. Yes, and, you know, whatever. Fergalicious. <laughs> <laughs> Flashes the leather on the running catch. And there's one away. That is better. The designated hitter. 
Mauricio. Here's Mauricio Dubon. Dubon. He has consistently been one of the best in the sport against lefties, and yet the righties give him trouble. You know, you don't want to be labeled as All that right. guy, but the numbers say what they say. One down, base is empty. That one the other way. Jankowski makes the grab for the second out. Batting in the first baseman. Jose, Jose Abreu up to hit. That's a strike across the top of the zone. 0 oh 1. And Abreu swings through that one. He's in a great spot right, right here. Ahead in the count, 0 oh 2. All four pitches in play right here, partner. The pitch. Not one even close strike. there. And that's ball one. Two down, nobody on. Swing and a pop up. Foul territory for the catcher. And he makes the catch. And that'll do it. So they make short work of him there. We head on now to the top of the third. We're tied. Nothing, nothing. Back here in Houston, top half of the third inning, and now the DH, Jared Walsh. Brown, back to work. Hard grounder into the outfield for a knock. Man aboard on the leadoff single. Well, clearly he was ready to hit right there. Just kept it simple, played pepper with the middle of the infield and took it back where it came from, and there was just no one there to knock it down. Jonah Heim stepping in for the Rangers. Yeah. Edge of the zone, call the strike. It's 0-1. 0-1. And the righty deals. Outside. No, and the count is one and one. No, he's really working him away this at bat. Sometimes take a little bit off velocity. Try to get a rollover, something on the ground. Stay away from that big hole on the right side of the infield. And a pitch. That's yeah. in there. Gonna count one and two. Walsh on at first. Nobody out. This guy's a fun guy to watch taking it bad. He just battles up there. He doesn't take a pitch off at all. Makes it so difficult on the pitchers out there. You can tell they get frustrated with how long it takes to put him away. Next one misses, and that's ball three. Outside, and that is ball four. He's making things difficult for himself right now out there on the mound, but, you know, his confidence should still be high enough to get out of this, but he's going to have to buckle down right here. Next to hit, number four. Puts it in the air out towards left center. McCormick has it sized up. Makes the grab one away. The right fielder, number 16, Travis Jankowski. So the lineup flips over. Travis Jankowski stepping in for the Rangers. Went down on strikes his first time through. Lifted in the air down the left side. And it falls. Throw back in. Holds the runner at third. Base is now loaded. Only one away. Oh, just a nice job coming through in a pretty high leverage spot right there. That pretty much split the zone down the middle, and those are the ones where you got to make them pay. 
Next up for Texas, Evan Carter. Golden opportunity right here. Ground ball could be two. There's one. Back to the pitcher covering. It's a double play. Nicely done, and that'll do it. Just trying to sneak one through with the bases loaded, but an excellent job by the defense to turn that one and get out of this jam. And welcome back to the ballpark. And now the catcher comes up to him, Gainer Diaz. The pitch. And that's outside. Ball one. Foul ball there. And the pitch. That catches the zone for a strike. One and two. Ground ball right side. He'll do it himself. One gone, bottom of the third inning. Well, he didn't recognize changeup earlier the enough. Got baseman. out in front a little bit. Rolled Corey. over on it and beat it into the ground. Jolt. Now it's the second baseman, Corey Jolks. 0 for 1. He struck out swinging last time. Right side. Jankowski puts it away for the out. And there's two down. Now shortstop, Jeremy. Jeremy Pena up next for the Astros. He's 0 for 1. There's a strike. 0 1. On the ground to third. Into the outfield, base hit. Joey gets on base and keeps it going. Just one of those seen eye base hits through the infield. He just kind of rolled over on it a little bit, but sometimes those can find a hole and get you a knock. And now they've got some speed on first, so we'll see if they try to get him into motion. And at first, and stepping in for the Astros, you're Don Alvarez. He's not going to get cheated up there. No, he's not. He's looking to do damage with every swing he takes. Just that's off ball. the outside edge, and that's ball one. The two-hole hitter showing so much versatility, understanding the situation, gets on base with two out to bring possibly the best hitters in this lineup up to the plate in this inning. Two outs. This one chopped up the middle, and that one handled. Throws the first in time. And that is the third out of the inning. One left for Houston, and we're still knotted at zero. The pivotal game five of the division series. And here's Corey Seeger to hit. Now the right hander ready to go. Still no score. Now a screamer into the outfield. Drops into the glove. One down. Man, he smoked that fastball. He's all over it. It's just frustrating when you can't get it to fall. Maybe next time off he'll find a hole. Here's Josh Young. Young measures six feet, two inches. 26 years old, and he won a gold glove last season. First pitch oh. just misses. All tied up here in game five. Pitch is in there. And the count even one and one. Inside corner for a strike. That front door slider is such a devastating pitch. You don't want to get beat by the inside fastball, so you cheat a little bit, and then by the time it gets there, it's out of the swing play. And That's another ball. ball. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Two gone now. He came out of his mechanics there. Typically he likes to shoot the ball the other way. But that time, a little anxious. Yeah. 
Here's Nathaniel Lowe. Yeah, and that's in there for strike one. Two down, nobody on. And a foul ball, he stays alive. Tried to hold up on the 0-2, now a look down to third, and he won a round. Not an easy call there, but that puts an end to the inning. Nothing doing for the Rangers, still no score. Bottom four is Kyle Tucker. Singing, you can't ask for anything more. This guy checks all the boxes offensively. He's the ultimate professional, and it doesn't just start at game time. It starts in the afternoon, the way he prepares and gets ready for the ball game. I tell you what, his teammates feed off of the leadership that he shows on and off the field. A wide to kick the pitch. Oh, he doesn't get the call. And now 2-0. Got to be real careful here. 2-0. He's hunting for his pitch. That one's in there. Strike one. On the corner for a strike. Love how vocal the umpire is today. No doubt. In the hitter's mind, the catcher's mind, and even the pitcher's mind as to the conviction in the call. Next offering okay. misses, and a full count now. Left-hand batter waits. Center field. Tavares settles under it. He's got it, and there's one down. Up next for the Astros. Chaz McCormick up next for the Astros. Fly to left his first time. Inside just missed. Base is empty all the way here in this decisive game five. And a swing and a miss there. Instead of letting the hitter get his arms extended, tied him up a little bit, slightly up, slightly in. Swing and a miss. Now one and two. Just a one little two. too quick on that front shoulder, front hip, front foot. Everything comes open. No way of making contact with that one. On the ground to the That's left. Ball. And foul ball. He's begging. Give me that pitch one more time. A hanging changeup just out in front. Struck him out looking. Oh, just a beautiful fastball on the inside corner for that backwards K right there. I think the hitter saw it all the way coming from that opposite arm angle. So I got to think he was looking away and just got locked up by the hard stuff boring in on his hands. Here's Alex Bregman. Just missed. Two down, nobody on. We're here in game five of this American League Division Series. Swings through that. Generally, second, one third ball, time through strike. the lineup, you want to be able to lean on those secondary pitches and command them. Looks like he's doing a nice job of it. Hit. Swings through that one for strike two. What is Two outs. Line drive, base hit. Now Everything was on time and fluid in that swing. Got a pitch he could get the barrel on and lined it into center for the knock. Those always feel good. And now, Mauricio Dubon. And a foul ball.
Now the 0-1. Oh, big swing and a miss. No ball, two strikes. That one, one not two. close, and it's one and two. Wouldn't well, chase that time. It. That one way inside. Great RBI spot here. Just got to stay focused on the pitch. The runner will be in motion, so something in the gap should definitely score it. Outside, and that is ball four. Well, interesting. He went with the off speed and walked the hitter. Now Man, you got to challenge the guy with the fastball. Jose. So first and oh, second Abreu. with two outs. And now Jose Abreu. He's 0 for 1. And the ball. first pitch misses for ball one. Bullpen action for the Rangers. John Gray, the veteran right-hander, appears to be loosening up. Haney also getting ready. And the 1-0. Swing and a foul over the screen and back out of play. The next pitch misses two and one. Good spot for the hitter. Definitely has the advantage in this count with runners on. Look for him to be aggressive on this next pitch. First and second, two down. That one in for a strike, two and two. Two on, two outs. Spoils that one, and it remains two and two. Kicks and deals. Good job to fight that one off. Well, he hasn't gotten the result yet, but it's got to feel pretty confident. Three foul balls in a row. He's right on this guy. At the belt and fires. Count and there's a the ball. Gainer Diaz to bat next. Too low oh, ball for him, and he's walked another. It wasn't easy, but he earned that walk after a long at bat. Well, that sets up a really big at bat in this game. These are the moments when everyone in the stadium gets really locked in. Diaz, the next to hit, takes low for a ball. Two walks in the inning already, and he just doesn't seem comfortable out there. Like, he can find the right mechanics and then repeat them. The lefty, the one on. Now one yeah. miss. Pressure's on right here. 2 0 count. Base is loaded. You don't want to fall to a three ball count and then walk in or on. He's got to challenge the hitter right here. And the pitch. Foul back our way, and that's out of play. And he deals. And that one fouled off. The 2-2 two -two now. Now he breaks as bad as it's put in play. And that ends the inning. Astros leave him loaded. And we are still scoreless. And we're back. Here's Leody Tavares. The center fielder, number three, Leody Tavares. Brown back to work. Fly ball to right. Tucker should have it. 
And puts the squeeze on that one. And a quick out number one. Now batting. Designated hitter. Stepping in, Jared, Jared Walsh. Walsh. Fouled off. He was late. One down. Base is empty. Swing and a miss. And that's strike two. Wow. Good luck catching up oh, to that good. one. Ball that's one the ball. there. That oh. one just misses. Two and two. Two two now. Fights it off. He'll see another. Riding to the plate. And Look another out. ball. Swinging. Chase the fastball up the ladder for strike three. Man, there was no deviating from the fastball right there. He just kept coming after him with it. Here it is. Hit it if you can. And he just couldn't find a way to put it in play. Jonah Heim stepping in for the Rangers. He reached out a walk his first time. Swinging a foul over the screen and back out of play. of the pitch and there's a foul ball well you can't really adjust your game plan for that last pitch guy hasn't thrown it very much you got to focus on the stuff that he's throwing up there most of the time two down nobody on fouls it back with two strikes the wind of the pitch Foul ball, it stays nothing in two. Also really good at bat. What I like about this guy, his bat stays in the zone for a long time. Gives him the ability to foul off tough pitches. Battling here as he fouls it away. Five foul balls in a row. I have no idea what that feels like, but you got to love this battle. Just wondering who's going to blink first. Next no, offering upstairs. Good location, good take. Sometimes you want the hitter to prove he can lay off that pitch. Popped up. That one gets down for a hit. So a two out knock keeps the inning alive. Now back. Second Here's the baseman. second baseman. Hey, 0 for 1 with a fly yeah, out to can. center. And delivers oh, outside. outside. Next pitch in for a strike. And now it's even one and one. Activity in the Houston bullpen. Lance McCullers Jr. preparing to come on if needed. France warming up as well. Kicks and fires. Ball. Two gone, but the go-ahead run is at first. And we're at the top of the fifth. On the ground. And that's, that's just foul. foul. Two outs. Bounce to third. Bregman to first. And that is that. Rangers leave one. Halfway through this one, still no score. Back now to start the bottom of the fifth and taking over on the mound, John Gray. Well, they didn't get much length out of their starter in this one, so they've got a lot of outs to eat up in that bullpen. I think they'll look for some length out of him right here if they can get it. 
So the Houston lineup turns over. Now it's the second baseman, Corey Jolks. And a pitch. Just oh, missed. Down. Well, these Astros digging into their numbers have to be happy with the swings they're taking. They've hit seven line drives already, and even though some of them have been for outs, there's nothing wrong with delivering consistent hard contact. That's almost always going to lead to positive results. Righty delivers. Outside nope. low. Oh. Two and one. Swing and a miss as he was out front. Two, two. Huh? Sets him down looking. Couldn't pull the trigger on a fastball at the knees. And here is Jeremy Pena. One for two. Foul back our way, and that's out of play. Pitch misses. One, one. one and one. Popped up. Sizes this one up. Makes the grab, and there's two gone. The lefty, number 44, Jordan. Here's Jordan Alvarez. Alvarez. Gotta be careful with this guy. He's got power. He can untie it with one swing. And a foul ball. Right-hander kicks, deals. That one ripped. That's back. Up against the wall and brings it in. Offense held a check there. We're through five. No score. Back here in Houston, start of the six, John Shambi with Chris Singleton. And leading off, Travis Jankowski. Here comes a pitch. And that one fouled off. Well, these Rangers just aren't putting great swings on the baseball in this one. They're trying to find ways to drive the ball with some authority, but it's just not happening for them so far. Zero extra base hits in the game, so it's been tough for them to get anything going. The pitch. Almost one got him. Break. Sometimes you have to keep chipping away until you break through, but it's a lot easier to put runs on the board when you have runners in scoring position because they put themselves there. Ground ball up the middle. Dives, but it kicks off his glove. He decides to eat it, and so they end up with some speed on it first. Now, a couple of hits in a row for him here, and now let's see if they force some action with good wheels on the bases. Go ahead, run on base. Here's the left fielder, Evan Carter. Brown, keeping an eye on him. Base runner with a one-way lead right there. All he's trying to do is get a look at the pitcher's move. Had no intent of stealing on that pitch. Yeah. That one's in there on one. In the air, right field, pretty well struck. Way back there. And it's gone! Home run! And they take the lead. It's 2-0. Well, the best home runs are the ones that give your team the lead. That's a great feeling right there.
Looks like this guy was looking out over the plate, but he was ready to turn on the inside fastball. So direct to the pitch, absolutely blasted out of this ballpark. Here comes the skipper, and we're going to see a pitching change in this spot. Hunter Brown is done, and they trail as he exits, but he kept them close. A new arm will be on the mound after the break. Lance McCullers Jr. gets the call from the pen. And he's got a big time breaking ball to contend with. Uh, hitters going to have to pick it up early if they're going to have any chance. Now it's Corey Seager. Ground ball right side. Jokes. Throws the first. Now one gone in the top of the sixth. The third baseman, number six, Josh Young. Next to bat will be the Texas cleanup hitter, Josh Young. Upstairs. Oh. Well, with both starters out of the game, this quickly becomes a bullpen game, and this is something we see more and more in That's the game the today, especially in the postseason. Two up. Two runs across in the inning, and we're at the top half of the sixth. On the ground, right side, and that one finds its way through. Well, patience and discipline paid off right there as he got into an advantage count. Just a simple ground ball the other way that had eyes on it, man. Sometimes that's all you need to do. Just let the ball travel, put the ball in play, and just hope it finds a hole. Now here is Nathaniel Lowe. One and oh. Squirts away a little bit. Throw to second. Oh, Not in hey. time. He's there easily. And now a man into scoring position. Can't imagine he's too happy with that one on the mound. Just one pitch after giving up the single, he basically turns it into a double. Man at second. Wouldn't That's chase that time. Next yeah. offering is in for a strike. Nasty 2-0 slider there for a strike. That tells you he's got a lot of confidence in that pitch. The count two and one. Three one. Not really attacking on the mound in this at bat. All breaking balls, so that makes me think they're not really wanting to challenge him here. And that's ball four. Yeah, ball four. Take your base. Now batter. One down. And now it's going to be Leody Tavares. Tavares. That one fouled off. Always tough to turn two on a speedster like this. It's even harder with him coming out of the left-handed batter's box. You really need something to hit hard on the ground that they can handle to turn two quickly. Here's your one. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. And the right hander deals. Spoils the two strike pitch, and he'll see another. Two on, one out. Keeps the at bat going with a foul ball. Right handed reliever. Oh, well, you know that's got to be very frustrating for this guy. He knows the strike zone extremely well. And you know what? Good hitters are not going to compromise. He'll take that punch out, but ultimately stick with his plan and have more success than anything else. 
Now here's the Rangers DH Jared Walsh. Right through there for a strike. Two on, two outs. And that one pulled foul. The pitch. Gets a piece, and it stays 0-2. Two outs. One and two. This one in the dirt. Nothing happening on the bases, though. The one, two. Ground ball to Brayu. Takes it himself. They limit the damage here. Texas plates two on the homer. And it's two zip. Back here at Minute Maid Park, bottom of the sixth inning. And here now is the Astros cleanup hitter, Kyle Tucker. And here it comes. Just missed. Down. If you're on the mound right now, you know you have to retire this hitter. If he gets on base, it could open up the floodgates for this offense to score some runs. And oh. another ball. Some activity in the Doing bullpen up. for Texas. Josh Spores appears to be getting loose. Means getting cranked up as well. That right. one finds the zone, and it's two and one. It's been tough for the offense so far, but you can't get frustrated. You got to find a way to shake it off. Go up there and relax. That's the only way you're going to be able to put runs up on the board. Next oh, offering upstairs. High. And that's in for a strike. Well, it looks like he's Down wanting to work the upper part of the strike zone. What does that mean? Top hand better be working for the hitters. Adjust that side a little bit. Give yourself a chance to hit. Payoff pitch. And there's ball four. It's tough after falling behind a hitter, two balls and no strikes, but now at least he gets a fresh start against a new batter, but he needs to get back into the strike zone and start pitching with conviction. Now this guy's definitely looking for a big swing of the bat right here. Try to close that gap, but you know, at the very least, if you could find a way to manufacture that run from first, it feels like it's really important to getting back into this ballgame. McCormick at the plate now. That's ball one. Way to run off that pitch down. With the tying run at the plate here in the bottom of the sixth. Late yeah. with the swing there. Well, they just threw that fastball one one. by him. Elevated, and if you're not looking up in that location, very difficult to catch up to, especially with that velocity. One and two, out. Up and in the count now two and two. The pitch. Got him. And now one away. Well, he throws him with the change up right there, and I think he was so geared up for fastball once he recognized that it was off speed. He just wasn't able to make an adjustment. So a really good strikeout, and pitcher just won the battle. Now it's Alex Bregman. This one pulled down the line. It's hammered. This one hooking. It's got a chance. Foul. Man at first, one away. That's outside. And the count is one and one. Swung on, belted. That one back. 
And it's off the wall. Lead runner holds at third. So two runners in scored position and just one out. Well, that was an important at bat in this game. So a great job there stepping up to the challenge. Just missed out on a home run right there, but he certainly hit it hard enough. Just didn't have the right launch angle to carry it over the wall, but still an excellent swing of the bat. Now a pretty big at bat coming up with a chance to even this ball game up. Mauricio Dubon digs in now. Fall off foul. Down the line, it's a base hit. One runs in. Here comes the throw, but it's offline. He will score. Start over to RBIs with that swing, and this one is tied. He really shot that one down the right field line and somehow found a way to keep it from slicing foul. One thing that was great about the approach is head was down all the way through the pitch, and that's how you do it. One down, runner at first. Jose Abreu. That's the third. There's one. Adelo. It's a double play. Poetry in motion there as the second baseman turns the double play. Nice throw to first, and that's the way to end the inning. Back here in Houston, new inning getting started. And now the switch hitting catcher, Jonah Heim. The wind of the pitch. Line drive, and a base hit. A leadoff single and the go-ahead run is aboard. The batter number two. Second Here's the second baseman. Pedro Rodriguez. Well, with both starters oh. out of this ball game, it now becomes a battle of the bullpens and just seeing which manager can match up better and who's able to get to the finish line. And a pitch. Double play ball to second. Off balance yep. beat. There's one. Not in time at first. It's a fielder's choice. Tough play right there. Didn't really have enough time to set his feet and make a strong, accurate throw. Had to rush it, but he got it off and he got it there in time to get that out at second base. Back to the top of the lineup. Travis Jankowski now at the plate. And the pitch is outside, ball one. Next offering is in for a strike. pitch and a count one and two with two strikes may see some movement over there at first base trying to stay out of the double play right here the next oh. offering misses two balls two strikes two and two And the righty deals. Checks his swing. Now it appeal to third. No, he held up. Trying to keep this a 2-2 game here in the late stages of game five. Over to first, and he saved. Grounder might be two. Feeds the second out there, and that's two. Pitcher made the pitch, and his players made the play behind him. Nice job, 4-6-3, inning, ending double play.
Josh Spores will take over here. Number 66, Josh Spores. At the plate is the Astros catcher, Yainer Diaz. The catcher, Yainer Diaz. And he deals. Spores goes six feet, three inches. He features a slider, a four-seamer, and occasionally mixes in the slur. The pitch. He was late there, strike one. When you throw a fastball by a guy like that, I imagine it's got to feel incredible. Look for him to throw it again at some point. Righty to the plate. Ball. That one to first. He handles it himself and one away in the bottom of the seventh. The batter, number nine, second baseman, Corey. Now here is Corey Jolks. 0 for 3 with two strikeouts and a flyout. That's in there, and it's 0-1. No need to offer that pitch oh, until you get to two strikes. It's just a low percentage of success when you want to try to go after that down and away pitch. One down, base is empty. Bounce to the left side. And a couple of quick hey. outs. The batter, number three, shortstop, Jeremy. And the batter will be the shortstop, Jeremy Pena. One for three. Right through there for a strike. Way out front for strike two. This guy's not wasting any pitches. Hitters got to get into swing mode. This is a good time to expand the zone. Throw something maybe down in the dirt. Got him looking. And he did not like the call. Astros are down quietly. Score remains 2-2. Welcome back, and a new arm on the mound to start the eighth. Number Penn 56. Murphy. Penn Murphy. Now the number two hitter, Evan Carter. He's already homered in this game. Evan Carter. The pitch. And that skips into there. Next offering is in for a strike. Left hand hitter waits. And a count one and two. Struck him out. Very frustrating right there as a speedy potential base runner when with two strikes you just struggle to put the ball in play. You don't even have to get a hit at that point. You can help your team just by reaching on an error, but some way you got to find a way to shorten up the swing and put the ball in play next time. So now it's Corey Seeger. First no, pitch misses. Strike activity in the bullpen for Houston. Josh Hader up and loosening in the pen. Montero, the hard-throwing right-hander, up as well.
All tied up, and we're in the top of the eighth. That's oh. off the mark. Ball two. Kicks and deals. That ball is foul, and the pressure is building. Just missed. If he's able to connect on that, look out. One down, base is empty. They got him! And now two gone. Well, big power guy right there and generating so much bat speed. It's hard to bring that to a halt once you've committed. They tried to check the swing, just couldn't do it. Young stands in now and watches strike one. There's a swing and a miss. Well, that's that slope right there. He threw it extremely well. Talk about just a ton of break. So tough to get that barrel to. Two down, nobody on. Just Up missed. That's the ball. Swing and a ground ball out to short. Rangers go down in order. Nothing doing for the Rangers, and this game is still tied at two and two. Now, new pitcher on the mound as we roll into the bottom of the eighth, John Means. John. He's got a wicked breaking ball in his arsenal, and it's definitely one of his go-to pitches when he needs an out. Three, four, five due up for the home team. Now it's Jordan Alvarez. Alvarez. Why to kick the pitch? Splits the plate. One one. Well, we call that key holding. Even though it's right there and looks pretty good, if he doesn't love it, he's not going to swing that early in the count. The lefty fires. And that ball one. Ball. One ball, one strike. And that's oh. off the inside edge. Two and one. Swing and a miss. Nice changeup. And he really sells the changeup with that arm action. Gets a piece and stays alive. Definitely got the hitter conscious of the pitch inside. Really think the outer half is open. The 2-2 on the way. Knocks that one away and we'll do it again. strikes he goes and a key out leading off the bottom of the eighth well big strikeout right there and maybe a little controversial with the call I think he got a little bit of favor on the mound no question about it it's not exactly what you want to see in a big spot like that and I'm sure there's some chirping going on from the dugout making it clear that wasn't his best call behind the plate today and now Kyle Tucker Base is empty one away here the bottom half of the eighth inning. Next pitch is downstairs. When you get to this part of the order, yeah, there's some pop there, but more likely there are some base hits. So very important to be patient. Let the pitcher walk you, if he will. Hard hit, right side. Over to low. And that quickly, two away. Well, there's a lot riding on that at bat right there. Nice job of the pitcher to bear down, make the pitch, get the ground ball. Excellent piece of work. Here's the center fielder, Chaz McCormick.
First That's pitch, and he just misses. 1 0. Two outs. Fights it off. You'll see another. And a foul ball. He stays alive. And a pitch. That nope. one misses. Oh. It's two and two. Two balls, two strikes. And ball another count. ball. Wow, this guy's really battling up there as if his run is the game-winning run. I love his tenacity. And that's too Six high, ball, ball four. four. That's a great at bat. He saw a lot of pitches and earned a walk. Well, that's a nice job of grinding out that at bat. Saw a lot of pitches and ends up drawing the wall. Very gritty. Runner at first with two away. Alex Bregman up next for the Astros. And fouled off. That misses the zone, and it's one and one. Gets him to chase after that one. Clearly, he was sitting on a fastball right there. It just ended up out in front of the slider. Hey, you can't fault him for his commitment. Now he's just going to have to battle with two strikes. Kicks and fires. Fights that one away, still one and two. You can see he was trying to stay back long enough to handle the off-speed pitch, but just a little tardy on the fastball. And now the lefty. Foul ball still, a one and two count. Well, he's having a tough time getting a pitch by him. As a hitter, you feel pretty confident that you're seeing different pitches still able to make some type of contact. Another one, two. Inside, nope. just missed. Well, he's not afraid to fall into a two-strike count. Knows the strike zone very well, so much so that I think umpires will look at him and determine whether it's a ball or strike if he swings or not. Next pitch just misses, and it's three and two. Mauricio Dubon up next for the Astros. And a pitch. Battling here as he fouls it away. Three, two. He fouls it off. We'll do it again. Two gone. The possible go ahead run at first. Fouled off again. And it remains three and two. The pitch. Foul ball, and it remains a full count. Stays alive. He gets Bregman. He battled for a long time, but it finishes with a strikeout. You can't be mad at yourself after an at-bat like that one. Sometimes he wears the emotion on the sleeve, but that's okay as long as he's getting results. And right there, thrilled with the punch out to get out of a jam.
And we're back. And now the first baseman, Nathaniel Lowe. And here it comes. Popped in the air. Left field. Calls it in. And there's one away. Up next for the Rangers, Leody Tavares. Pitch misses inside. 1 and 0. Oh. The Astros have some action in their pen. Seth Martinez, the young right-hander, up and throwing. Ball for a strike. Good eye in that spot. One down, base is empty. A little out front there as he swings through it. Fastball the letters frozen for strike three. Well, just couldn't pull the trigger on the fastball right there, and I don't think he was taking it, thinking it might be a ball, ball or anything. I just think he was flat out frozen. Did not expect that location, in my opinion. So now here's the DH. Jared Walsh. Pulled hard, but it's a foul ball. Two down, nobody on. Rolled softly, but that goes foul. Right-hander kicks, deals. Foul ball still 0-2. Two. two down, nobody on. Here at the top of the ninth. Got him. And good work there as he gets a one, two, three. So no runs, no hits, no errors, and no one left. Bottom part of the order, seven, eight, nine, two up in inning number nine. We are tied two, two. Back now as they hand the ball to a fresh arm to start the bottom of the ninth. Dane Dunning. Now picking for the Rangers, number 33, Dane Dunning. So now the Astros designated hitter, Mauricio Dubon. And a pitch. Sliced hard but foul. Out to short, Seeger. Jump throw across his body, but he beats it out. And the leadoff man is on with an infield single. The effort was there with the jump throw. You gotta love it, but it just wasn't in time. Still a really impressive play just to get to that ball and make it close at first. And not every shortstop can even make that play. No outs, runner at first. Jose Abreu up next for the Astros. That one off the mark. And that is ball one. If you're a base runner, you've got to stay dialed in here. Look for anything in the dirt. Try your best to get in the scoring position. Winning run at first. Nobody out. We're in the last half of the ninth inning. The other way. And there's a hit. Throw comes in, and the winning run moves up to second with nobody out. Nice job of driving that pitch the other way on a line. You know, hitters, they take so many reps in the cages working on going to the opposite field, and it doesn't always translate into the game, but right there it did, and he did it perfectly. Really important at bat coming up now. First and second, no outs. And here's the catcher, Yaner Diaz. And that one is inside. Lots of anxious fans in the ballpark right now. You can feel it.
the 1 0. Swing and a chopper. Tosses the first. One out, bottom of the ninth. Not a bad outcome in that spot. The runner moves up to third, and now they have a chance to drive in the go ahead run. It's not a knock, but at the end of the day, it's a good at bat. Now it's the second baseman, Corey Jolks. And there's no doubt that they'll feed off the energy from this crowd, right? I mean, yeah, I'd say the intensity level has gone up a few notches for sure. One ball. One now a pitch out to defend against the squeeze, but nothing going on. Wouldn't chase that time. Definitely a strikeout situation right here. Lots of ways for that go-ahead run to score if the ball's put in play. The winning run at third here in the last half of inning number nine. And that's no, down and away. Well, this is a little tough for the hitter in the back of the mind. You're wondering with first base open, am I going to get a pitch to hit? Got to stay back. Let your hands work. Stay in the middle of the field. Let's see if he gives him anything to hit here. Before he walked in. And that'll keep the line moving. Four pitches. That's an easy walk, man. He could have walked me right there, boo. The last one wasn't even close. So digging in, Jeremy Pena. Outfield moves in, looking to cut down the winning run at the plate. Game tied, series tied. This could be a turning point in this series if he could deliver. Indeed. If he comes to it with a hit here, it's going to change the entire approach that they can take against their opponent. And all three runners on the move here. Bunch attempt, but that goes foul. Winning run at third, one down. Strike two. The last thing he wants is to hit the ball on the ground, but I wouldn't expect many pitches up in the zone. They'll be pitching for a double play in this spot. Swing and a high fly ball. That one out towards left center field. Way back there. Across is the winning run. And the Astros walk it off to win the series. And they're on to the ALCS. Well, a really solid division series win. They can move on to the next round and I think relax a little bit more. Congratulations. Get ready for the ALCS. For Chris Singleton and our MLB The Show crew, I'm John Chomby. This has been the American League Division Series. Fans are final line score tonight. First for the victorious Astros. Three runs on eight hits. No errors. They left eight runners on base. To the Rangers, two runs, seven hits. No errors. They left seven runners on base. Time of the ball game, two hours and 53 minutes. Tonight's paid attendance at Minute Bay Park, 41,100.